Okay, this video is going to be a quick overview of the new micro entity fee status at the US Patent and Trademark Office. A micro entity can be an inventor, it can be a group of inventors, it could even be a small company or a business. And actually, universities, most of the public universities, qualify as a micro entity. And the nice thing about being a micro entity is that you can pay reduced fees about 75% reduction in fees at the patent office, which may save you over $3,000 throughout the life of your patent. So who qualifies as a microentity? There are a couple things you have to do to make sure you qualify as a microentity. The first thing is that all of the inventors need to make less than $150,162 per year, or that was for the last year, last calendar year, and that is gross income, which means if you think about all the different types of money you received, not just your you know, paycheck or your salary, uh, but maybe you got a gift, maybe you have rental properties and you get income that way, if you add up all the money you received last year, it has to be less than this $150,162 amount. The next thing you have to do is make sure that you have not been the inventor on more than four patents throughout your life and provisional patents don't count for this. And the last thing is that your patent can't be sold or licensed to a, a larger company or a company that may not qualify as a micro entity. If you're unsure about this, uh, I made a free calculator which is microentitycalculator.com that you can go to and enter in all your information and it will calculate whether or not you qualify as a micro entity and that's free it's free for everybody to use so if you're fairly certain you qualify as a micro entity you would go to the patent office and fill out their special micro entity certification form and I'm going to walk you through that now so if you go to uspto.gov slash forms that is where you access all of your patent office forms. And if your application is a new application or anything that's filed after September 16, 2012, you're going to click on the first link. Now, there's a lot of forms here, so you can just search for micro and it should pull up the micro entity forms. The SB15A form is the one you're going to want to fill out, and I'll have a link to this on my website. The second one is for universities. So we're going to click on the 15A form, and it's fairly simple to fill out. Probably one of the easiest patent office forms I've seen. Um, you're, it's asking for your patent application number. If this is a new application, you can just type not yet assigned here or you can just leave it blank same thing with a patent number if it's a new application or if it's a not yet an issued patent you can just leave it blank you can type in your first named inventor so I'm just going to type in my name here and the title of your invention so my invention title fairly easy Again, read through these to make sure you qualify as the micro entity uh, filer. If you do, then you can sign your name. The way you sign your name electronically for the patent office is using their S signature, which is a forward slash. This is the slash down at the bottom of your keyboard next to the shift key. Then your full name and then another forward slash and that's just an easy way you can sign online without having to print this out and sign it and scan it. You can type your printed name, the current date, your telephone number, and if you're currently a patent attorney or registered patent agent you would type in your registration number here. I imagine most of you will just leave this blank. And that's it. You can then proceed to save this form. And that is your micro entity certification form that you're going to upload at the Patent Office website. And we'll have videos on how to do that later on. If there's any questions, please send me an email. Thank you.